Hi kids! Today we will learn about different materials and objects. So let's start. We see a variety of objects all around us, like a chair, table, book, utensils, and so many toys. They all are made up of different materials, like plastic, wood, steel, mud. All materials have different properties. Like some material can be heavy. Some can be light. If you have two tumblers, one is made of plastic and one made of steel. The one made up of plastic would be lighter. If you have two carry bags, one made of cloth, one made of paper, the one made up of paper would be lighter than the one made of cloth. Also, one made of paper would be less durable. That is, you can't use it for long. Than the one made of cloth, it would be more durable. That is, we can use it for long. So different objects can be made of different materials and different materials have different properties. So, what is material? Material is the stuff from which an object is made. Like what is the material of this lunchbox? It is made up of plastic material. So what is an object? It is anything that is made of one or more material. This tumbler is an object made of plastic. This pen is an object made up of two types of materials, plastic and steel. And what is a property? Property is a characteristics of any material or object. Properties can be based on smell, taste, sound, look, or feel. We can feel or observe the properties with our sense organs. With our eyes, we can tell how the object looks. With our ears, we can tell how the object or material sounds. With our nose, we can tell how an object smells. With our skin, we can touch an object to know how it feels. Example, cold, hot, rough, smooth, or silky. Different properties of different objects can be heavy, lightweight, hot, soft, cold, sweet bitter, salty, sharp, white, black, sticky, shiny, yellow, crunchy, durable, and brittle. Let's take some examples. Let's see the properties of a rose flower. It is red in color, soft to touch, it has good fragrance. Now let's see properties of a glass. Smooth to touch, breaks easily and transparent. Now let's see properties of a plastic chair. Light in weight, hard, durable. It doesn't break easily. You can use it for long. Now let's see properties of a chair made of wood. Heavy, hard, and durable. Now let's see what the properties of a song can be. It can be melodious, lengthy, or short. Now let's see properties of a pillow. It can be soft, and lightweight.
candy, sweet and lightweight. Cracker sounds loud. Gift paper, silky, colorful, lightweight. Sun, very, very hot, shines bright, very far. So we learn examples of some objects and their properties. Different materials are suitable for making different objects. Like, paper is suitable for making notebooks to write. Glass is suitable for making window panes. Wood is suitable for making doors, table, chair, and other furniture. Steel is suitable for making scissors. Wool is suitable for making blankets. Cotton is suitable for making clothes and bed sheets. Plastic is suitable for making raincoats, carry bags, and small water bottles. We can use different materials for making different objects. Like a chair can be made up of different materials. This is a chair which is made up of plastic. This is a chair which is made up of steel. Whereas this is a chair which is made up of wood. All chairs will have same function of providing seat, but their properties will be different. The plastic chair will be lighter than the steel and wooden one. The plastic chair will be less durable or not long lasting as compared to the steel chair and wooden one. Spoon. This spoon is made up of plastic. This spoon is made up of steel. All spoons have the same function but properties will be different based on the material used. The plastic spoon will be lighter than the steel one. The steel spoon will be long lasting than the plastic one. Bowl. This bowl is made up of plastic. This bowl is made up of steel. This bowl is made up of glass. The bowl made of plastic will be lighter and the bowl made up of steel would be heavier but long lasting. The bowl made up of glass will be breakable. So kids, today we learn about materials, objects, properties of materials, variety of materials used to make objects. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!